for any portfolio manager there will be times when he will outperform times when she will uh, underperform all these things will happen and even when you see a huge uh, gap being created between the number one uh, performer in which maybe you luckily have invested and the number two and the gap is say 10% over a period of one year understand that 10% has to be broken up into uh, superior uh, choice of uh, companies uh, superior choice of sectors and an element of luck right this combination would have worked you do not know what percentage of what so right so if it is 9% uh, luck and 1% skill uh, you may be scared if it is 1% luck and 9% skill that's fantastic but will that be repeated we have no idea so remember that don't use past performance only right you could use it but using only that sounds to be very good bad so sometimes that fund performance will be good sometimes it won't be good and very importantly just because they have done well it does not make them superior or just because they have done badly it does not make them inferior this in mutual fund languages past performance is not an indicator of future performance right uh, what is the job of a portfolio manager his job is to allocate capital efficiently which is exactly what uh, mr n chandra should be doing in tata sons right what is he doing he has to allocate capital efficiently which is the company which will make use of money the best at this point in time that is his job exactly like that is what a portfolio manager does he decides which sector how much why etc etc that is what he decides also uh i could meet one portfolio manager and say do this for my 22 year old daughter do this for me and do this uh, portfolio for my 85 year old mother it could be three completely different portfolios which have to one is looking for growth one is looking for simplicity right and i am looking for a combination of little bit of growth and little bit of simplicity because in some time i may not be able to understand how it works so we all have a different uh, view of what we want from the portfolio so obviously the answer that the fund manager gives will be yeah this is portfolio a portfolio b portfolio c you have to see whether it works for you so you actually need two people one is you need tremendous control over yourself and your understanding as to what you want or you need one investment advisor who will tell you that this is what will happen investment advisor is not the portfolio manager this investment advisor will hold your hand and take you to the portfolio portfolio manager and maybe translate some of the jargon being thrown at you right so you have to know what you want from the portfolio before i mean it's as simple as this if you don't know where you are going you can take any road right here you are very clear this is for my 22 year old daughter this is for my 85 year old mother this is for me three different portfolios will emerge the um, returns generated by a stock is inversely proportional normally to the level of excitement that it creates right so a company like nike creates a lot of excitement it's not given great return at least to the ipo holder the in paytm the uh, uh, shareholder has lost a quite a packet in zomato the uh, initial offer was at 130 it went to 180 now it is around 65 i am not getting into the pricing i am just saying that for some it has created value if you bought it at 45 it's created value for you if you bought it at 160 it's not yet created value so these kind of things will happen and ultimately it is the fund manager's call whether he wants to hold uh, uh, shares like zomato which may create wealth over 10 years or say oh this is not suitable for your mother who is an 85 year old i wouldn't want zomato in our portfolio but i'll happily hold zomato in your daughter's portfolio so this is again this kind of uh, talk can happen in a uh, pms scheme so what should you do to get good returns from a uh, portfolio scheme so what should you be looking for in a pms scheme when you go to one one the fund manager should have a very clearly articulated uh, investment theme and investment process you should i mean first of all i'm saying uh, the basic hygiene should not have been prosecuted by sebi etc etc those have to be in place anyway but after that and therefore uh, you you chose that fund uh, pms manager uh, 
he should be able to articulate what he is going to do very clearly and you have to be in agreement with that for example about 2 years ago somebody launched a quant fund and said uh, psus have always destroyed value so we will not have psus in our portfolio fantastic that that point it sounded good but today it may not sound very good so if you meet a fund manager who says i don't invest in pms today you may react to him very differently than you would have reacted in 2019 right uh, but today psus have done well so the question is having known that psus have done well what is your fund manager going to do right is he going to say oh i made a mistake so i'm going to add psu stocks to it or say uh, well psus anyway destroy wealth in 5 years so we do not know why this uh, irrational run for a psu stock has happened we are not worried there is no fomo for us we will stay away from psus that can be a second strategy or third saying oh sorry we made a mistake so we don't know how to correct it but right now psus are very expensive we will not buy or we will be selective we may still buy some psu right so for some reason so you should know that a fund manager has a clear thought process he knows or she knows how they are going to do it and how when circumstances change they also change right so sometimes they have to adapt sometimes they have to say no this is my way of doing and i will not make any change that's when that's fine that's their view right or somebody says no i'm sorry i made a mistake so now i'm going to add so you have to choose what suits you uh, you want normally in a big portion of your portfolio you don't want any alarm bells in the portfolio right so somebody goes and says uh, why have you bought this reliance mutual fund share so say no i know there is going to be a change of management um, it's no longer going to be ADAG group, Nippon is going to take over 75% and therefore this is a superior company, it's very different, the PE will change, the way it works will change, the uh, talent it attracts will change, therefore we are buying, that's perfectly alright. Or you want somebody to say, or you want to say, okay, on a portfolio of 20 crores, I want to give 50 lakhs to a guy who is just working on momentum. I don't care whether he buys and um, shares which are out of favor in the market. People will not touch those shares. He buys those shares. But on momentum, he is making money. There could be that strategy. You have to choose what suits you. And uh, let's say you got 5 crores uh, for which you want to put into PMS. You can choose 3 fund managers, right? Put 50 lakhs in one, 50 lakhs in one. And put 4 crores in the other one saying, no, this is my core portfolio, no risk. But in these two, one is momentum and one guy takes uh, very big uh, stake risk. Uh, he takes liquidity risk. He takes, uh, you know, every lots of risk. I am fine with that. So, 50 lakhs of mine is in that. That can also work, right? Somewhere you are looking for consistency. Somewhere you are looking for, like you are building a team. You don't want only Rahul Dravid. You want Rahul Dravid. You also want Ishan Kishan, you also want uh, Virat Kohli, right? You're building a team, you want, you, there is a role for each one of them, right? So, you can do that also. Uh, see what is the industry average, uh, how long his managers stay with him, right? Uh, make sure that the cost of ownership is not much higher than the average in the industry, right? So, you have to do all this. Second, you have to understand that that uh, what the fund manager is saying in his portfolio matches your needs. If your needs are different, then the, you have to move on to a different fund manager, right? And then you have to look for consistency in what he is doing. Is he doing what he was saying, right? That is also important for you to uh, look and uh, then take a decision. So, putting all this together, uh, there are some advantages, there are some disadvantages. The disadvantages I, t I think is uh, PMS, uh, you have to monitor it yourself. There is not much of market monitoring. Whereas, if you have invested in a big fund, uh, it is perfectly possible that if there is some problem in that fund, uh, there will be some uh, 10 uh, analysts looking at it, uh, uh, some websites looking at it, somebody will crib and say, oh, this, he has bought this, so he has not done well, he shouldn't have bought this. So, somewhere there is some discussion uh, that of the fund manager performance being evaluated by many people. This, uh, in this, you are the boss and you have to ensure, you have to be sure that what is being reported to you, you are, you have the ability to analyze. Some people may or may not have that. So, you should know that also. Uh, I think that's all. So, it's a pretty longish video, though this of course is only 5 minutes. If you take all the, all the PMS videos together, it should be about 20 minutes. Thank you.